Hello, it's the Bad Mini Painter here, and I'm working myself through the uh, Legion Imperialis uh, box set. And today it's a, a Contemptor Dreadnoughts. Nauts. Mm, hard word. These guys are tiny. I I I love them. They. Uh, I want to say adorable, but that that seems wrong. Or is it wrong? Maybe it's right. Anywho, they're. They're adorable, let's be honest. Um, I'm going to pay, uh, be painting these up in uh, in my uh, Death Guard um, sheen, because that's that's what I started with when I bought the individual boxes. So, yeah, I'm kind of locked in on that now. So, Rakath Flesh um, as a base layer. layer. And uh, this is mainly uh, to, to add shade. Um, so it doesn't have to come on too even. It, it can be uh, splotchy or, or, or thinner some places than other. The important thing is to not uh, destroy any details uh, when applying it. And uh, if you don't do that, you're, you're good. Next, I'm going to uh, dry brush uh, mummy uh, robes, and I know. I've written mummy up there. It's it, it it was a Sigmund Freud moment. It is of course mummy. Um, and I dry smear them with this color to get that uh, pale white effect uh, that that the Garth are so uh, famous for. And it is really uh, a smearing more than than a uh, brushing. Next, I uh, mix uh, Vallejo uh, brown, brown wash uh, with uh, medium, uh, about a 50-50, and then I just slap that all over the model. And that's because I want them to be dirty, and I want to bring out details, and the details are tiny, so a way to bring them out is to use a wash. It's actually really, really efficient. So you can have a fairly dull looking model, slap the wash on it and it's all of a sudden interesting and full of uh, nifty little details and it also it just generally makes the paint job look more um, advanced advanced not the right word anyway death guard green um, and I add that on the knees and the shoulders because we need to break up that white And I've found myself a really, really small tipped uh, brush. Wolf hair, actually. Uh, illegal wolf hair. I don't know if that makes a difference, but it, I just found it weird. And when that is done, I actually decide to do some highlighting. First, I wasn't going to do it, eh, but why not? So, Ogryn, uh, Ogryn Camo from Citadel, and it's it's just an edge highlighting to like put in a teeny tiny bit of effort, I guess. Uh, but it actually ended up looking pretty good, and I was pretty sure that it was going to be a waste of time, and I wouldn't notice the ever notice it ever, but um, I did. Iron Hand Steel, um, and I do that for the joints and uh, the metal on the on the gun, and also the solar plexus, the the stomach. <laughs> I I don't know what it's called. The gut. Uh, the little tube in the middle, the tube that comp uh, binds the legs with the body. I decided to give that one. Uh, a layer too. And again, the, the funny thing is that these tiny models, you don't have to do a lot of work in order to make them look very interesting. Right? Five, six colors, shading, and um, you're basically done. So I decided to go in with uh, Abaddon Black for uh, for the gun casings. And some rims on some of uh, on uh, some of the weapons. And finally, 
as the last thing, believe it or not, uh, a black wash. And uh, it's a black wash for all the metal parts. Again, it's Death Guard. I, I want it to be a little, like, a, a reasonable amount of dirty. And applying it fairly carefully to not hit the, the armor. And we're done. Now, if if I was, um, like, if I felt um, particularly self-loathing this day, I could have uh, hit the ribbon, the ribbons, the, the nails in the armor with uh, some uh, some whole silver, something like that, and uh, I think that would have done a nice detail. I could also have highlighted a little bit uh, on the body of uh, of the armor, but. Honestly, I feel like this this is a decent paint job. It's battle ready. So, anywho, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're into Legion Imperialis stuff, painted by a guy who can pronounce it, um, subscribe. Uh, I will be uploading a lot more of this uh, during the next coming weeks. Or uh, maybe months. Let's, not, let's see, I have other stuff to do as well. Anywho, thank you for your time. Enjoy your day. Bye.